So in today's Mon Buzzle, we are gonna be doing the impossible. We are gonna make our BMW into a awesome off-roader, and folks, the results are really surprising, so stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. Oh boy, I am really, really excited today because we are gonna be making an off-road race car BMW thingy-mabob from a drift car, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So as many of you know, I uh, typically like to crash my car and I end up like off the road anyways. So why instead of making a drift build, do I not just jack up the suspension, take off a lot of the parts to make it as light as possible, and we can just bomb some awesome hills here. I mean, look at all this countryside that we haven't even covered. So uh, say goodbye to the horrible drift build, which by the way, I do want to thank you guys. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing on this series because I lack a lot of knowledge on certain car items and I get some really good suggestions and I had a lot of uh, suggestions on how to fix uh, the drift build but you know what we're not doing that today we're gonna screw this up and we are gonna see how tall uh, we can get this car so I'm definitely gonna want to straighten out the camber a little bit more uh, it is completely sideways right now and it's also helping like lower the car so I need to jack the car up straighten out the camber I might even switch the tires uh, these are sport they have an all-season tire which might be a thing. Uh, we want to take off the doors. A lot of people were telling me to delete the back seat, but that is not a thing. Like the back seat is built into the car. Uh, there is not a back seat. Uh, I don't know if we're going to take the trunk off. That might not be necessary. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to lighten this bad boy up. Probably going to leave this front bumper off. We'll go ahead and stick this over here. And uh, we're going to see what this is going to do. And also, a lot of people have been complaining at me about this car. They say I can use the, uh, the dent repair on it, which... Maybe I should be doing this to fix this car up, even though this car has really no purpose, except for, I think it's going to be used in demo derbies uh, when the new update comes out. I'm wondering if it's actually going to get damaged then, and then maybe you would have to go in here uh, with this repair tool and really fix it up. I hear it making noise, but I don't see any improvement. What? Oh, and let's just hit this hood and let's see if it flattens itself out. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, maybe I'm just like not noticing it. Oh, and hit, let's hit the body. Oh, it says I've restored this, but the hood doesn't match up with anything else. I mean, I guess it does look a little bit smoother, but yeah, it's just a thing. We'll sit this over here. All right, so anyways, we got to get to work on this. Where is my, there it is. I was looking for this mechanical creeper. So what we're going to do, uh, let's straighten out the camber, which by the way, people say it, I was right on the camber in the front for the drift build, uh, but the rears needed to be like straight up which I just cambered everything out and made it look ridiculous. Uh, so here, let's adjust this back. For an off-road, you want a little bit of camber in it. Uh, I don't know if six degrees, maybe we'll go with that. That looks kind of cool. Actually, it's still a little too extreme. Uh, let's go up to about maybe four degrees. All right, and let's go ahead and let's raise this up real quick. How high can we get this thing? That's a good question. Also, we need to mess with these uh, rebound and bump force. Uh, that's gonna help the suspension a little bit. So I must say the area to click to adjust the suspension up is like really, really finicky, uh, like super finicky. Okay, there it goes. I think we're still adjusting down. Yeah, it disappears after I click it once, which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Then you have to find the sweet spot again. I kind of wish this was like a lot wider. You know, it might be worth it to take the suspension out. Hold on, let's try the front real quick. Maybe it's just the rear that's being a little bit difficult. So we go to the front here. Uh, so there's the spring force here, and this is the height. Yeah, why is the front so easy to adjust compared to the other? Also, holy man, this goes up to 50? I think it started by default right around the 30 area. Oh, what does this look like? Oh, you know, it actually doesn't look that ridiculous. Like, it's definitely higher off the ground. Uh, let's do the other side. Like, I think that you're only seeing one corner. So I think definitely doing it on this side too would be a, a good idea. Okay, let's back up. Oh yeah, there we go. That is high off the ground. Yeah, you wanna keep that front bumper off that way it doesn't drag when we hit some of those uh, nice hills. Uh, we're definitely gonna inflate the tires up quite a bit too. And yeah, we need to straighten these fronts out a bit. Yeah, this is gonna look cool. So yeah, one thing I forgot that we're gonna have to do, we need to switch out uh, the back, the differential again. Uh, we've got the welded one, which is typically for drifting. So we wanna take this out. Not too bad of a deal here since uh, it's relatively easy to get this part out. Hey, here comes the new one in. Also, uh, we collected a lot of radios from the last uh, episode. or was the episode before we went to the junkyard. And uh, we really need to take those to Van Guy. Uh, that way, way we can make some extra money. I'm going to admit, I've been pretty bad about doing the maple syrup. 
uh, since now that I have pretty much all I want unlocked. So we're pretty much just getting the money on Sundays from the reserves, but I think eventually that runs out. So yeah, that's going to be a thing that we need to do in the future, especially when a new update comes out. Like, I don't know if you're going to need a lot of money for the new update, but I kind of want to have a little bit stockpile just in case. Like, I'm sure we're going to get some sort of parts. Okay, here we go. The back is a lot easier to adjust now, so we're going to send this up to 50 here. Now, it's going to be the secondary adjustments that I do to the uh, suspension that are going to really make it work off-roading, which I got to figure out exactly what's going on. Yeah, there's something, like, glitched out about this one. Like, it just does not love me at all. The other one was easy to adjust. Okay, so we might have to take the suspension piece off on this right rear, but look at the other side. Uh, it definitely sets up pretty high i really wish we had some off-road tires like we can't take the truck tires off can we like that would be pretty amazing on uh, let's also let's jack up the air pressure real quick right now they can we're sitting right around 30. wait if i go to 100 does it explode hold on oh that is a thing <laughs> i didn't know that was a thing in the game all right so i think they can hold close to 50 pounds and then they go kabooey oh no I don't have a way to change. Well, I guess te technically I can manually do it. Wait, no, I can't manually do it. Dang it, we're gonna have to go to the shop now. <laughs> Motive, stupid. Ah, uh, this is fine. Okay, so we're gonna have to load these in another car and we're gonna have to take that. We'll uh, mount it at the shop. I need to go uh, anyways. But yeah, this is fine. All right, well, we've started the, uh, the project here. Also, I can go pick up some paints. Uh, I think that should be a thing too. Okay, so I'm gonna need to put this on here. It kind of sucks I have to pay for this. I could have gone out to the racetrack, but honestly, it's $15. Uh, I don't feel like driving that far. All right, so we're putting that on. So let's not go above maybe 45 on that. Also, look at these uh, exhaust types. We got the big ridiculous one on. Ooh, I like that one. It's just a straight, like, massive pipe here. So yeah, we're definitely getting this muffler. Uh, we'll install that on there. Is there anything else I need to install? Uh, you got OEM shocks. Uh, they got the summer tires. Like, I feel like just the sport tire is just the max grip tire. Like, I don't think there's actually a difference. Well, there is a difference, obviously, between summer and sport. And uh, maybe these are just, like, the mid-tier ones. I don't know. Somebody needs to tell me. Like, what are all the differences in the tires? Also, uh, they got, like, a rally race wheel. I kind of like that. Uh, let's grab one of these, too. I want one of those. Uh, wheels, I think we're just going to stick with the same one. I do need another color here. I kind of wish they had an orange. I'm a little disappointed that that's not a thing. Uh, we have clears, whites, uh, you got the black paint, the matte paint. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab one of the matte real quick. And then, you know what? We got to go with the color we haven't really used, which I think we've used about all of them. Uh, we can go with the yellow. I know we did a yellow truck. Let's go with the yellow like off-roader. All right, uh, thanks. Also, uh, real quick, uh, I was thinking, if we were able to get another like generic car uh, kind of like the one we have like what would stop us from buying another engine and buying all the parts and having two race cars like i really feel like that should be an option also i'm almost out of maple syrup here there we go yeah i hope that's a thing in the future okay let's try this again so i think 50 popped it so let's go up to let's play it safe we'll go to 40 so there we go that's like max inflation here all right go up to 40 look how high the car is getting now this is great Okay, and 40 here, and then we'll go 40 up here. We definitely have a lot more clearance. Uh, I like it. All right, so we need to take the doors off. Uh, I know that's a thing now, so let's go ahead and get those. We haven't done that yet. Uh, hold on, it's getting here. Also, if you guys want to see me do a shop upgrade video, like I know you can go to the furniture shop and you can buy shelves and a whole bunch of stuff. We might need to do an episode where we do some home improvement and maybe actually sort the shop out. Okay, where are the bolts on this? Uh, I feel like they were right there, weren't they? Hold on, let's go into here. They mounted high or low? Uh, do I need to get on the lift? Uh, okay, let's go on the creeper. I don't know why I called it lift. Uh, oh, there they are. Okay, so we got one here. Oh, oh, come out. And then one up there. All right, that should be good to go. So that's a good bit of weight reduction there. These doors are probably fairly heavy. All right, let's take these off here. Do the ultimate weight reduction. We'll just take the seat off or have it loose in the car. Uh, the trunk, I don't think it's necessary for the trunk. Also, it'd be nice if you could put a roll cage in this. I know the roll cage wouldn't do good for uh, 
weight reduction, but it looked really cool just to have the cage, and but not have the doors on. This looks weird. Never taken these off before. Okay, so we take those off. Look at that. It looks beefy. <laughs> like, it's weird. If we can only put off-road tires on it, I know somebody's going to be like, well, uh, so this is still in the ditch uh, from the last episode. Are these actually bigger tires? I don't think they are. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice if we had bigger tires here. That way we can uh, really make this thing super beefy. But you know what? It's pretty beefy right now. All right, let's grab some of those parts real quick. I don't know if the, the mufflers actually change the sound. Uh, you would think something this massive would have a, a definitely a sound change, but uh, that might not be a thing. Okay, pop this one off. This one's big and ridiculous. And let's pop the... Oh, wow. That looks cool. All right, so let's pop that one on there. And let's reattach. Uh, we're getting close, folks, to being able to test this out. I'm going to look up a couple things about the other suspension adjustments real quick. And then uh, we'll try to make this uh, as beefy and as, like, off-road worthy as possible. Also, are we leaning? Oh, yeah. Duh. The right suspension's still broken. Okay, so I'm going to reinstall this piece. Can I adjust it on the ground? Oh, I can. Good. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with it. Like, I just could not adjust it, but I can adjust it when I take it off. So let's go ahead and set this to the max height. Uh, almost done here. We want to get it to 50. Man, this thing's going to set really high off the ground. All right, let's go ahead and put this back in. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at the back end of this. Like, I've never seen this much clearance on it. This is cool. Yes, Komodo gets enjoyment out of stupid things. I like tinkering with the car here in this game. There's something about this game and like the car, uh, like mechanic part of it, that's just really fun. And I'm not typically one that's like huge on car mechanic games. But yeah, this one makes me really happy. Okay, so we've made some big time spring adjustments. I uh, went off several guides online. I don't know if it's actually gonna react the way I want it to in game. But yeah, we're almost ready. We got a couple more adjustments to go. Let's go ahead and spray paint this thing yellow. And I think we're gonna go with the matte yellow, unless I really like this metallic. Oh, that's nice and bright. Wow. Okay, let's try this matte real quick. Ooh, I like that. Man, yellow and matte looks really good. All right, let's get rid of the shine on this side. So yeah, all we gotta do is install that rally wheel and we are good to go, at least to test. Uh, we'll see if we need to make any more minor adjustments for there, but this thing is setting like as high as possible. Like there's nothing else I could really do to it. At least I don't think there is. Uh, unless you guys have any ideas, but I think we've uh, we've pretty much done it here today. Holy man. Oh, you know what? I lied. I actually didn't do this on the front. I did it on the rear. So you got the uh, spring force. Look at this. Holy man. Okay, now it's as high as it's going to go. <laughs> okay, goodbye, school bus wheel. You served your purpose for the drift video. Now we got to have a normal wheel on here. All right, let's grab that bolt, put it back in. All right, we are ready to go. Oh, man, you can tell this thing set so high off the ground now. All right, let's crank it up. Uh, maybe we'll change the underglow lights. Uh, do we have a yellow? We have an orange. Oh, there we go. All right, we're ready. I don't think it sounds any different with the uh, uh, different style of muffler on there. But, oh, jeez. Look at this. Like, we're so high off the ground. This is cool. Uh, this looks a little bit dangerous, but we got this. All right, do we need... No, we've got plenty of gas here. All right, let's test it out. Let's see how the suspension reacts. Uh, oh! <laughs> Wait, we're so high off the ground, we no longer get stuck doing stuff like this. So we can totally just go up over this. Up. Oh, we might get high centered here. That was actually a really big mistake. Uh, on. We need more speed. All right, we got this. All right, here we go. Shift up through the gears. Can we conquer this hill? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Oh, I like this. This actually feels pretty good. All right, so there's a couple trails we uh, haven't gone on over here. So over here to the right, where does this go? So you swing around, and this is the road that leads you to, like, the main road to get into the city. But there's a path. Oh, I thought it was right here. Maybe it's around the corner. Uh, okay, here it is. Like, where does all this go? Like, there's a path here somewhere. Yeah, look. Is there, like, a secret part or something we haven't found uh that would be kind of cool not gonna lie oh yeah hold on downshift let's get some speed through here yeah i mean it feels good it still breaks loose a lot i kind of wish we had like a dedicated off-road tire or like a rally tire but i mean it feels like it can conquer hills uh no problem also where are we going uh 
Where does this end up? Okay, this looks like this potentially... Oh, that's our house over there. I didn't know there was a road, like, tucked off right here. It's pointless, but I guess it's fun if you want to do some off-road stuff. All right, hit the gas. Oh, is something broken in the car? I swear I'm, I'm hearing something, like, rattle. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. All right, we need to go find, like, a truly good off-road section. I think over by the farms is going to be our best bet. You know, we might not have to go over by the farm. Like, look at what we're uh, in right now. And, oh, okay, we're going for it. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Does it land on all four? Yes, it does. Like a beast. Also, oh, okay, I did get anxiety for that. I'm surprised he didn't cuss in French there. Look at this. Like, we're clearing everything now. We're no longer getting stuck. Like, we got stuck earlier, but that was really pretty extreme. Hold on, let's go down through here. Like, this totally works. I kind of wish we had more off-road trails. Whoa, we're getting some air. All right, here we are. I hope his anxiety doesn't go up from all the bumping. Like, I feel like the car isn't bottoming out, and that's typically where uh, your character gets the anxiety and when you have your car set too low and you, like, hit, like, a bump or a curve. But, like, this is good. Hold on, can we do some uh, donuts here? Oh. I mean, these are, like, halfway donuts. Uh, not as extreme and as fast as I want. Uh, do we have our nitrous on? I don't know if this is actually armed. Hold on, let's go power level three, arm it. Uh, in theory, I think it's on right now. Uh, come on. Oh, get over the things here. Let's see if we can get back over this mountain. All right, so let's go we. Uh, downshift, get some speed. Like, it has no problem getting up the sides of these. Like, this is, uh, awesome. All right. Oh, jump through here. Okay, we are, uh, we're flipping again. Okay, my character is going to die from anxiety. Uh, we might not want to do this anymore. I think we proved that you can get an off-road build in this game. It takes a little bit. I really wish when they come out with the, maybe some more parts, we get some more off-road catered builds. I know it's, it's a BMW and it's not really supposed to do this, but, I mean, there's a lot of things we're not supposed to do in this game that we do, so... I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you want to see a maybe a shop upgrade episode. Comment down below. Oh, look, we made it to the junkyard. <laughs> That's cool.